good morning students so in ninth standard we are going to start our first topic in physics that is force and laws of motion in physics we are going to deal with five topics that is motion force and laws of motion gravitation work and energy and sound these are the five top chapters which we are going to deal in the ninth standard from the physics part so when chemistry and bio classes will be there bio and chemistry ma'am will tell you regarding the chapters so in physics we are going to see the first topic that is force and laws of motion so in force and laws of motion here mainly we will discuss what do you mean by force what are the laws which are related to the force and here we will study the concept like inertia types of inertia balanced force unbalanced force and the force concept mainly it was introduced by newton so newton's laws we are going to discuss in this lesson so here you can see the introduction of the chapter here we have the definition for the force that is in the 9th 8th uh, standard you have studied types of force like muscular force gravitational force then uh, magnetic force electrostatic force you have studied few forces so here we have the muscular effort in the form of push or pull the muscular effort in the form of push or pull is needed to set a stationary object into motion or to stop an object moving so whenever any object is in motion you have to require some external force to stop the object or whenever any object is at rest you need to apply some force to make it in the position of motion so that is nothing but what force here so in short we can uh, define force is nothing but it is the push or pull on an object push or pull on an object is called as what force here this force cannot be seen but its effect can be seen or felt here for example if your friend is standing if you apply some force on him the force is not visible the force is not visible this force effect what happens on your friend or whatever the phenomena or the changes takes place that can be only observed here you cannot see the force but its effect can be seen so force how you can define it force is defined as it is push or pull on an object is called as force here one more point you remember that force cannot be seen but its effect can be seen or it can be felt here you can see this is a snooker game here you can see the muscular force is acting so with that stick you are applying the force billiard balls are there here you are applying the force when you apply the force with the help of that stick on the ball the ball will start moving so here what happens the purple ball it will go and hit the red ball then the motion will continue here so this is the effect of the muscular effort in the form of push or pull it is needed to set a stationary ball so this is one example for a force in your surrounding in day to day life you can observe many phenomena by the application of force what all phenomena takes place so here you can see this activity the muscular effort in the form of push or pull is needed to set a stationary object you can see the red ball is initially at rest when this blue ball comes and hit this red ball you can see the ball the red ball also continues to be in the state of motion so here this is the effect of force on a red ball by the blue ball so this is what this is the muscular effect in the form of push on a red ball so here you can conclude that due to the force application the bodies which are at rest you can set it to the motion here you can see the next example what you can do by the application of force see what is this a cricket batsman is having a bat and he is hitting that ball so when he is hitting the ball the ball initially it is coming towards him so when he applies the force when he applies the force the ball starts moving the ball starts moving in the reverse direction means here the direction of the body can be changed by the application of force so this is the second effect by the application of force what you can do the first one is by the application of force you can set a body from rest to motion or motion to rest second one is you can change the direction of the motion of the body 
then here this is nothing but what here this is also what that is push or pull here if you press the object along the applied force direction if the body moves it is push so pull you can see the difference between push and pull here here see this is what is this here also the person is applying the force you can see the arrow mark in which direction a person is applying the force and he is trying to move the table on the floor so in which direction you apply the force in the same direction the object will move here the next example you can see that is when you are applying the force you can see first picture a box is pressed it is pushed and pulled by two person two people are there you can see one is pushing and one is trying to pull it so when this takes place wherever the force applied will be more in that direction the object will move here these are the different different examples to say when the force acts on a body what all changes will occur so activity is to know meaning of force so what all we have that is a ball remains at rest when it is not disturbed i hope you remember the previous one that is here the red ball initially it was rest when the force applied by the blue ball the ball starts moving so that is the first conclusion of the activity when it is pushed it begins to move in a straight line with a speed so when it is pushed when the force acts on a body the body moves with some speed here you can also change the speed of a body by the application of force third point here the push acting on the ball has changed speed of the ball from zero to certain value from zero to certain value you can change the speed of the ball so next that is ball rolling over a floor so here what happens if you put your hand in the path of the rolling ball suppose if you have a cricket ball football anything any ball you can take so if you kick the ball here what happens whenever any obstacle come in between the motion of the ball the ball will change its direction or it will stop its motion the push of the hand stops the ball here the speed of the ball changes when we apply a push on it so when we apply the force or the push on it the ball will change its speed also so here that third activity we saw just now that is when a batsman he will change the angle of the bat and he can set the direction of the motion of the ball here so one thing you can do that is first one you can change the motion to rest and rest to motion state and next you can change the direction and you can change the speed these are the three effects by which you can change the body's state from rest to motion direction and speed by the application of force so here you can see in which direction the bat is placed in the same direction the ball will move so here you can see this spring whose one end is fixed in the ball suppose if you have a spring so if you have a textbook you can see in the textbook it is given 9.2 act figure is there so in that you can observe if you have a spring which is fixed to the ball when the spring is stretched when the spring is stretched size of the spring changes when it is pulled so you can instead of spring you can take rubber band also you can take a rubber and you can see that if you stretch it it will change its shape so it will change its shape here so what we can conclude from all this that is one thing we can say what is the definition of force force is nothing but what it is the push or pull on a body is called as force then next here we have that is uh, you can say that when force acts on a body what all effects you can see one thing is you can change the motion of a body to rest rest to motion second is speed of a body can be changed third is direction of the body can be changed and the fourth one is shape of the body can be changed by the application of force so students in the next class we will discuss about balanced and unbalanced force so you just go through your textbook and see some activities they have given once again you read it so that we can continue in the next class thank you